welcome to the second part of studies of uh, functions of complex variables. If you watch this uh, video to the end, you will get a link uh, giving us that previous study, yes, where we talked about how to get real parts and imaginary parts of a, a complex a function. Now in this section we want to see how to test for analyticity. So this gets us the first important section which talks about a necessary condition that a function f of z is analytic in the region R is that the parts, that is real part and the imaginary part of f of z satisfies the cauchy riemann conditions. And what are these conditions? The condition states that if I take the real part and find partial derivative with respect to x, I am expected to get the same result as taking the partial derivative of the imaginary part, yes, that is V, with respect to Y. Okay. The second condition simply states that if I get partial derivative of the real part with respect to Y now, remember pre previously we started with X, this is now with respect to Y, I'm supposed to get the negative of the result I'm obtaining from this point if I do partial of V with respect to X. If a function satisfies this condition, then we say it is analytic. Okay. Now, moving forward, if you want to also bring in the concept of Laplace uh, uh, conditions and, and, and uh, test for, for harmonic functions, if the partial derivatives in 1A, as we have indicated, and 1B, as given here, are continuous in the region R. Okay, the cauchy riemann conditions are sufficient. That is just basically what we said that if these conditions are obeyed, then we talk about analyticity. Taking the second derivatives of the function u and v with respect to x and y, if they exist, this is what we obtain. Let's take the second derivative of u with respect to x. We are supposed to get equal result when we take the second derivative of v with respect to to x then followed by y okay as we continue looking at that we also find in the in the second part doing the second derivative of u with respect to y will be equal to the negative of the second deriv derivative of v with respect to x and y now summing these two equations you can see this is uh, similar to this and this is a negative of the other so summing it will end up with a zero at this end and this added to this. This is a very important function or relation or equation as far as testing for harm harmonic functions are concerned. So this actually is obtained from doing that, what we have just done up there. Now, similarly, the same procedure can be followed to obtain 3B. These two conditions are important in finding out something which we want to state here. Uh, the real and the imaginary part satisfies Laplace equations if this is what is, uh, uh, we make the function to go through these tests, okay, a in 2D, that is using 3A and 3B as I've given you, i.e. the function U and V are said to be harmonic if they obey these conditions. Now, our interest today was to test for analyticity, and I want us to handle this example here, okay? So this example is basically handled this way, in a simple approach. I don't want us to complicate things. Now, if I'm given a function to be f of z equals 2z plus 3, okay? And you know what z is? z is basically x plus yi, okay? So, if I have f of z as 2z plus 3, now 2 into z, which is basically x plus yi plus 3, Expand, uh, opening this bracket, we end up with 2x plus 2yi plus 3. Okay. Now let's sum up what is not in the in the imaginary section. We'll end up with 2x plus 3, and the other one is 2i. So this basically forms our u, and this is our v. Okay. So if I have u as 2x plus 3, v as 2y, let's now subject this to the cauchy riemann conditions. This basically tells us that if you take the partial of 
uh, u with respect to x, I'm expected to get the same result as taking the partial of u with respect to y. Is that the truth? Let's do it. Now, du dx for this, this is 2x plus 3. It's a constant, it will be 0. 2x will give us 2. Okay. Now, what about uh, uh, partial v uh, with respect to y? If this is 2y, then I expect to get 2. So, wow, condition 1 is satisfied. What about the condition 2, which is having this negative here? We'll have to look at what we have. Basically, that now let's now subject uh, partial u, partial y. We don't have any uh, variable y here, so what we get is a 0. Okay. Then what about uh, partial v, partial x? No x here. So what you expect is a 0 or negative 0. There's no harm here. So if I get 0 and negative 0, then condition 2 is satisfied. So if both conditions are satisfied, then we say the function f of z, which equals to 2z plus 3, is analytic. As simple as that. Now, I would want us to, uh, maybe during your free time, you check this question here, where we have z cubed plus 2z minus 1. Test if this is analytic. And if you find it, uh, I will find the result and you want me to verify, kindly make a comment at the bottom down there in this uh, YouTube video so that I can respond to it. Thank you.